welcome to another travel vlog. As you can tell, I am at the airport and I am gonna board a plane to Italy in a couple of hours, just at Cremonger, because we're at Birmingham Airport, and Birmingham Airport doesn't have the best choice for food, so it is, but otherwise it's really good, and check-in and everything's really easy. So I'll show you what we've got. There's Helen, she's gone for a tuna toasty. It's really yellow on the camera. And I've gone for a brie and uh, avocado one and some apple with almond butter and a charcoal shot and I've brought my Love Island water with me and filled it up to go I keep hydrated for the plane. <laughs> arrived at a hotel after quite a long coach journey so we're really tired it's like half 11 Italian time but like half 10 English time and we've just gone up to get a cold buffet dinner so we're half bored so obviously we missed dinner because we're too late so they've put a little cold buffet on so I've I've gone for mostly dessert so I've got creme brulee pineapple some bread and cheese and Helen's got some bread and fruit so and then I think we're gonna head to bed soon after this and we're up early tomorrow for our welcome meeting and breakfast before that. We've just got into our room so I'll do a little tour. So you can see beds, Helen's claimed one. I've claimed this one. I don't know, we didn't really think about it. And Caroline's gonna have this one, nice. And we have a view of a garden. You can't really see it because it's quite dark. Yeah, there's no point in even looking at that. We've got a nice big mirror, doing makeup and hair, that always goes on for quite a long time in the morning. And then the bathroom is weird though. Like, look at that for a bathroom. I have a feeling that's gonna make me feel really sick. Like, it's just so stripy. I just, I don't know. I don't know, is that just me or does this make your eyes go really strange? But, I mean, it's a good fire and everything, but yeah, maybe I'll have to like close my eyes when I'm in here. Good morning, everybody. So it's our first day in Sorrento and the weather is not great. So we've had breakfast and we've just come out to a cafe. We're gonna have a little wander around Sorrento, but we're waiting for the rain to clear a little bit more before we can do that. So we've come out to a cafe and we've got a Sorrento lemon cake, which looks really good. It looks good. Helen's putting it on her foodie adventure Insta. It looks nice. So this is a Sorrento speciality, so obviously I've got to try it. So we've booked some excursions and we've booked a spa day tomorrow with some massages. So it's gonna be a nice holiday. The weather looks like a lot better. I think today's gonna be like scattered showers, but then the rest of the week is looking so much better, so I'm just gonna have some coffees and enjoy the cake. We are just on our way to a lemon kind of farm place now. It's brightened up loads and it's really sunny and warm. I'm actually feeling really hot walking along. So we just had quite a relaxing afternoon in the hotel. I read a whole book. I read a Jacqueline Wilson book because I I don't know, when you're on holiday you don't want to read like really hard stuff and I still love Jacqueline Wilson despite being 26 so I read Wave Me Goodbye which was such a sweet book and I finished that now so I'm gonna have to go on some of the books and so we are off to this lemon farm just walking through the streets of Sorrento it's so beautiful just looking at the supermarket and down the little cobbled alleyways and yeah, just stopping to look around and put on our way. The lemon farm ended up being closed, which was a bit strange because on TripAdvisor it said it was meant to be open. But we went for ice cream or gelato instead, and I've got lemon cello, side drip. Mm, that's good. Mm, lemony and mixed citrus. 
I'm really refreshing. These are actually more kind of like sorbets, which is nice because I wouldn't then we want a heavy ice cream. Helen went for something a bit different. I went for white chocolate and a caramel that's kind of like a burnt caramel sauce on it, and it's really good. Mm -hmm. And the ice cream place we're at is called David Augusto. If you want to know, it's meant to be one of the best ones in Sorrento, as rated by TripAdvisor. And it's on a really cute little street with like loads of lemon shops. So I tried some lemon cello earlier, which was really strong. Like, it tasted nice, but oh my goodness, it was so strong. And we're just gonna have a little wander around next. Holiday. I'm wearing no makeup today because we can have a very relaxing day in the pool and the spa and gym and just a bit of a health and fitness day. So keeping in that theme, I've gone for quite a healthy breakfast. I'll show you what I've got. I've got yogurt with muesli, pumpkin seeds, fruit and uh, sultanas and honey made in the bees from here. It had bits of honeycomb, you could just get the honey out. I've got pomegranate juice and ginger green tea. And Helen, what have you got? I've got a brown croissant with honey, and I got some chocolate sauce and some melon, and my cereal, which has smarties in it. So, a bit of a mixture of healthy and unhealthy. And a little croissant just because. Then you get it off with towels. Yeah. And, and then, then have a massage. And a massage and there's like hydro pools and stuff. So it should be nice and relaxed. Such a nice time in the spa. We had, yeah, it was so good. We had massage and we had the scrub. Yeah, we scrubbed down in the Turkish, like, like bath a steam room. room kind of thing. So we scrubbed down with like this homemade Sorrento sort of scrub thing. Natural scrub. It was really nice. And then we towelled off and sat in the, the hydrotherapy pool for a bit and then had our massages and it was so good. It was so good. The woman who did them, I think, what's her name? Was it Linda? Linda. Linda, and she was amazing. So if you come to the Conquer Park, it's Conquer so Park nice. Hotel, Hotel Conquer Park, that's it, the hotel we're staying in, um, definitely go for a massage, it was amazing. So oh, we went back to our room and had showers and I've obviously done a full face and makeup and I'm like dressed up a bit tonight because there's a pianist gonna be playing later and I think we're gonna get some cocktails after dinner. Have a nice and night. Yeah, it's a very relaxed, chilled out day today. And for now we've just come out to the gardens and there's a beautiful view. So over there. I'll just zoom in a bit. You can see it a lot better in real life and on camera. There is a view of a mountain. I don't know what mountain it is. I'm gonna have to look this up and I'll probably say like somewhere on the video what whether it is a Vesuvius or not. It probably isn't and see and looking over the bay of naples how gorgeous so yeah this is the garden in the hotel this is such a nice garden it's really cute it's on like three different levels and there's like lemon trees we've been sitting down on the bed yeah relaxing reading so different levels and there's this really cute little lime tree over here 
It could be lime or lemons. Either it's like unripened lemons or it's limes. I don't know, maybe that's lime. But it's really cute. Yeah, and there's lemons over there, I can see them. This is what happens when you go up some pretty steep steps and you're pretty high up and you're wearing heels and you're too scared to walk down. You take your heels off. Well, it's fun coming down without heels on. Well done, you made it. Just got myself the main course of dinner and it's a good one tonight. There's quite a lot of vegetarian options, which is nice, and healthy options, which is really good. Especially because when you're on holiday, especially somewhere like Italy, where there's loads of carbs and pizza and stuff, you can eat a lot. But tonight I have... I've got Sicilian style pasta with aubergines, a spinach, mushroom and pepper salad, potatoes with tomatoes, stuffed pepper and green beans. Chocolate creme brulee and fresh pineapple for dessert. How's creme brulee? So we're going to go to Positano, Amalfi, Rivolo and stop off on some villages on the way and just see some beautiful views of the Amalfi Coast as we go. So I will take you along. We are in Positano and it Yay. is so beautiful. You can see the tumbling coloured houses behind us. We've just been having an Insta photo shoot, trying to get the best snaps. It's quite funny because the people behind us are obviously doing the same thing. Yeah, and now we're like, copying. Them. Yeah, I'm even wearing like the same kind of white dress and stuff. So that's quite funny. But we had to get in the sea. The yeah. Sea for this well, you gotta get. Well, you'll, obviously by now you will see your shots on the gram, so you would have seen whether we're successful or not, or whether it didn't work out. But it's beautiful here, and the town's gorgeous. So hopefully after our little photo shoot, we'll have time to look around the town a bit, grab an ice cream before heading back to the bus. finished up with a photo shoot completely. It was ended up being a bit of a rush in the end because there's been so many photos and I need to try and get my best Insta snap. Hopefully I did. And now we're just walking along the little back streets of Positano which is so cute. Going to look in some little shops and I got myself a pistachio uh, homemade lollipop. Mm. It's very pistachio-y and kind of white chocolate. This is really good. Yeah I'm just having a bit of a potter before heading back to the bus. Positano is so beautiful. It's described as like one of the richest places, like the most expensive hotels. You can tell. And you can really tell. Nice and um, Meghan Markle and Lily James vacationed here and loads of celebrities and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to be here. Lovely as well. So after the 
boat trip we can pot around the Malfi and have a look and see what's here. Lord. And hopefully get some Italian cheese. Our table, red wine, white wine, and there's a lovely view out there. Lovely. in Ravello which is a village up in the mountains and it's really so nice. pretty look at the view actually I think I've just shown this view and then behind there's a church and these there's like really nice umbrella palm trees he said they were the or plain guide. trees plain trees they're not palm trees are they oh. trees 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 that are umbrella -ish. yeah and oh, we're gonna nice. hear a bit more about Ravello and then we're gonna have some free time here which would be nice because it's got a lot quieter than Amalfi. Amalfi was lovely, but it was very busy. Yeah, it was crazy busy. Whereas a Ravello is just so much quieter, which is beautiful. And then we're gonna head back after that. So it's been a lovely yeah. day so far. Looks like our guide is <laughs> calling us over, ready we're for late. the talk. <laughs> Everybody, so it's day four. 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 I, I'm. This must sound so silly in the vlogs because obviously you would have just seen whatever I said for yesterday. But when the day passes, I'm like, I can't remember what day it is. But yeah, welcome to the Never Vlog. We are in Pompeii today, and we had a bit of a disaster with the train because the train from Sorrento to Pompeii is apparently meant to be really easy. Mm. So you're meant to apparently. get. Yeah. Where from the trip advisor and stuff, you just get on the train, get off at Pompeii, Scarvi. Um, but I think we managed to pass that station or something because we got off at a random station and had to get a taxi back here. So that wasn't the best. But we got here in the end. Helen didn't like the train, she didn't like it. No, when you have a packed train and you have anxiety and you don't know where you're going, it doesn't make for good time. No, that wasn't so good. But we're here now and that's the main thing and yeah. we can see the volcano in the background there you go that's Mount Vesuvius the volcano that destroyed this whole city looking very peaceful and calm today but obviously wasn't in AD 79 all those years ago when it destroyed Pompeii and Pompeii was like a whole city, a Roman city covered in lava, all the people died and its remains were found in the 18th century and now it's been preserved for people to look at as a historical um, monument, not monument, but historical ruins, but you could basically see like a Roman city so it's going to be really interesting. We bought a guidebook so we know what we're talking about and we're going to have an explore. <laughs>
we've left Pompeii now and it was really interesting seeing all the buildings and stuff. The only thing is like the guide and the map were really confusing to work out where we were because a lot of the buildings were quite similar. But um, we found the theatre, the amphitheatre, the gladiators hall, the Odeon and um, lots of little houses and shops which are really fascinating and there was some like on the way back, on the way out there was kind of like um, some of the bodies in casts of the people who were frozen in time because of the volcano and now we are back at the station well actually we didn't actually go to this station because we got up at the wrong place and this is the station that you are meant to get off and on at for Pompeii Pompeii Scabby, so this is the station. I don't know how we managed to miss this, but it might be 20 minutes back to Sorrento now, and I'm gonna have a pot around Sorrento this afternoon. Back in Sorrento, and we've gone for pizza at Franco's, which is near the station, was recommended by the Chewy Wrap. How is it? It's really good. Mm. The cheese is really nice. Is that what makes it so nice? And it's quite thin, it's like a thin. Good morning and welcome to day five of our yeah. Sorrento trip. Today we are going on a boat trip to Capri. We're on the boat at the moment. We're just turning out of the harbour and it should be really good. I think we're going to plan is to stop to swim somewhere maybe and then uh, spend some time in Capri, visit the gardens, look around the shops, go for lunch. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Quite a little boat. It is. It's only a 12 person boat, which is quite nice. And there's like no seats or anything, so it's just kind of like spread out with our feet and bags. And that's the front. So yeah, it looks quite nice. Hope to go swimming. And it'll be interesting. We have arrived in Capri after our boat trip. It was quite bumpy, but lots of fun. I actually really enjoyed it. Sometimes I can get a bit seasick, but I took a picture of tablet and it was so much fun. It was like a ride at Disney. It reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean. Everything reminds me of a ride at Disney. It's quite funny. I think it's meant to be the other way around, that the rides remind you of like a boat trip. But for me, it's always Disney. So we're here and we're gonna do a bit of exploring. We're gonna go and get the funicular up in a second and look around Capri Town, look around the gardens, the weather is beautiful so get some lovely pictures and explore so we tried to find the funicular but we thought we were going upstairs leading the funicular but actually I think we're going upstairs leading to Capri Town so now we're walking up, quite a lot of levels of stairs it's tiring here we come starting off the morning with a bit of a hike to try and find Capri Town so yeah I'm not providing the best travel tips really. Seems to be getting lost a lot, turning the wrong direction. So, I mean, there's a funicular somewhere that can get you up to Capri Town, or you can just take the wrong direction and kind of climb it like us. I mean, it's quite nice, you've got quite nice views, but then it will take a little bit longer. I have made it up the stairs took out of me I have to say I'm quite breathless now I wish we had taken the funicular it literally is right there yeah again how did we miss it and how did we go the wrong way but now I am up here and the views are breathtaking and I'm just waiting for Helen and Carol because they were a little bit behind so hopefully they'll make it up soon I kind of did rush ahead I was gonna like go ahead and see how far it was but then I kind of got too far because I kept going around all these corners so hopefully they'll come up soon and then we can explore. 
We are now in the Augustus Gardens in Capri, which are really beautiful. There's some really nice viewpoints. It's quite busy at the moment because I think a tour group has just come in. So we're waiting it to quieten down so we can get some nice photos. So pretty. Yeah, we haven't even looked properly at the gardens yet. We stopped to get some slushies, which are really tasty. So good. You had watermelon. Mm, it's like fresh watermelon with a fresh watermelon chunk on them. Mm. And I had Capri Special, which was like oranges and lemons, and it was really nice. And yeah, we're gonna go to the garden after this, and it's so beautiful, but it's so hot today. It's hot. I'm like, oh my goodness, I love it though. Lots of tours. Up there here is. This one. I don't know why. I personally wouldn't do a Capri tour. I don't think because it's just. No, I don't think you need it. Yeah, and it's also very small, like little streets, so it's quite hard to keep with like a tour group. Yeah, there's lots of nice places to stop. Yeah, and go for coffees and slushies and orange juice and cake. Some people are dressed really nicely here. Yeah. Very nice dress. It's very expensive. Mm. Um, for some lunch at Bala Pompeiana. Pompeiana. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And here again, my accents are probably absolutely terrible. But we've gone, it's quite expensive here. So we've gone for pizza, margarita pizza, and um, bread, avocado, tomato, aubergine. and aubergine to share. And I've gone for a uh, rose wine. So it looks nice. More Italian pizza just have to be done. All oh, of the pizza. our penultimate day in Italy today which is really sad I've really enjoyed it here it's such a beautiful place and today we're gonna have quite a chill day because we had a few quite busy days and early starts so we got a bit late today when I had breakfast and now we're on our way to the beach um, there's not like proper beaches here in Sorrento because it's like oh we're gonna go into the bakery there's like not proper beaches because it's quite rocky so it's kind of like um, a little kind of pier thing coming out and that's where we're gonna go so it should be really nice just gonna spend a few hours there chilling and swimming in the sea which is obviously my favorite thing to do to get to the sea because it is like down a cliff you have to get a lift which we've discovered is in this little park 
and there's the lift over there. So I think you buy your tickets, which are about a euro, and then you, or 50 cents, and then you go down the lift, and you can get to the beach. We have arrived at the beach. We are at Leonali's beach. I think that's what it's called anyway. And we have set up for the day with our sunbeds, looking out to sea, and it's lovely. That's our view. So we're just looking out to sea, and then behind us is also the sea. I'm just gonna focus. I'll take you and show you. So this is where you can go swimming, and this water here. It's really lovely. So there are just some stairs over there that you walk down, or you can go around onto the little beach and into the sea. And it's really warm, and the water is so clear. Look at it. So nice. I'll be taking my GoPro in because I just love some footage, like a bit of a montage of me playing in the sea, kind of similar to the Bahamas and similar to what you would have seen yesterday. So I'll be doing that later. I think I'm gonna just relax for a little bit and warm up. I mean, not that it's cold, it's like already like 25 degrees, but I'm such a cold person, I have to have be quite warm before I can swim. Although this sea looks really nice and sunny, so it should be okay and I shouldn't get too cold. There we go, into the sea. It's kinda cold. Just gotta go for it. in the afternoons we've been here for like five hours five and a half hours it doesn't feel like that it feels like it's going really quickly had some pizza for lunch and um, just a big slice and just been swimming then drying off and reading and then swimming again and then drying off and reading and kind of repeating that cycle which is really nice Helen's just having a nap yeah resting it's much busier now I'll show you what the beach looks like right now So it's a lot busier, but it's a lot sunnier too. And it's just really a nice relaxing day. I'm just gonna chill out now on my sunbed and read for a little bit more as I dry off and then go for another dip in a bit. We've just finished with dinner. I think last time I talked to you was at the beach, so came back from the beach, relaxed for a bit, had some dinner, put some makeup on, and I tried to get beach curls, but my beach curls failed a bit. I think the sea just didn't suit my hair today. Usually the sea gives me really nice curls, but not today. Put some lashes in as well, which you can't really see. My makeup's not looking as good. And yeah, I just thought get a bit dressed up for the last night of our holiday, which is sad. And we've got some cocktails. I've gone for an apple spritz, which is nice. And Carol's got a Davy Crockett. And we're just reading our books, relaxing. And I think an opera singer is going to start. And then out there's the garden. And I think the opera singer is out there somewhere. And yeah, I might listen to the opera singer for a bit and then, then it'll be a last day tomorrow.
everybody so today is our last day in Italy which is so sad so I'm just soaking up all the sun whilst we can because I think tomorrow it's going to be rainy and cold in England so that's to autumn weather. I know I'm not looking forward to it at all you are though I am I love autumn I'm a summer person I love summer I love the heat so this is just perfect for me but we have six weeks until our next adventure to New York. Yes. So that's really exciting and we'll be vlogging that. I might do daily vlogs for that. I'm not sure yet. Daily vlogs or either maybe like two parts. There's so, so much we want to do. I know, New York's gonna be a busy one. So look out for that vlog. But for now, we're gonna just enjoy our last day in Italy. We're pottering around Sorrento, doing a bit of gift shopping. Need to get like the biscuits to work. My work, like, and every someone goes on holiday, they always bring back biscuits or something. So I feel like, I need to get something and then we're I going want to get cannolis for me. Yeah, you're getting just for you. Your work's different. And then we're gonna go for lunch at a nice Italian restaurant for the last time. And then we get the plane back from Naples this evening, I think at like 7.30 p.m. It's quite a late flight, which is quite yeah. nice actually because we have a whole day to explore. Just waiting to go for lunch and looking at the beautiful views out to sea. I'm so gonna miss it. I love the sea. I love the sea. It's so pretty. Next time we see the sea will be the Atlantic in New York. That'll be exciting. Cold. Yeah, well, I don't know how warm it'll be. October. The sea will be cold. The sea will be cold. Obviously we won't be swimming in the sea. Oh, here comes a little train. Oh, yeah. Noki for lunch and ravioli. ravioli. On our way back to the hotel, we just stopped for an after lunch gelato and I got Nutella, which is literally pure Nutella. I don't it's crazy. Even think it's ice cream. It doesn't even taste like ice cream, just literally Nutella. Mmm. Yeah, so. I got Oreo. Yeah, this basically just tastes like cold Nutella. It's so pure Nutella. It's the most Nutella thing I think I've ever tasted. Uh, uh mashing. <laughs> so I'm going to end the vlog here because we're just going to relax for a bit in the room, read our books and then head to the airport. And I might do a little bit in the airport but I'll put music over that if I do because no one wants to look at my face when travelling. Yeah. Hot and sweaty and Hot waiting. and sweaty and tired and waiting and that, you know. I actually quite like watching other people's airport days, but I hate filming my own because I just don't look great. Yeah. It's just a lot of waiting around. Yeah. I mean, when we're doing our actual big travels, we'll film more airport days. It's just because... Get excited about those airports. Yeah, there'll be different airports. Big airports. This one is just going to be boring. So, I'm going to end the vlog here. Italy has been absolutely amazing. Definitely want to come back here. Definitely want to explore more of Italy. Would love to go to Pisa, Florence, Rome, Milan, Venice. All those places have to plan some more travels at some point and thank you for watching stay tuned for a singing spectacular which i'm gonna insert in the end mm. bye bye sing to me palo hey now hey now You can search the world and never figure it out. You don't have to sail the ocean. No, no, no. I will never want to miss this. Cause in my heart, I know what this is. Yeah.